Hi, my name is Myra Kagate and welcome to a new video. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you when to use may and might. May and might are examples of modal auxiliaries. Tinatawag rin niya na modal verbs or simply modals. Ang mga modals na sinasabi natin ay yung will, would, can, could, shall, should, must, ought to, at yung ang may and might. Ang mga yan ay mga helping verbs lang, okay? They cannot stand on their own. Ginagamit lang natin silang pantulong sa ating main verb sa ating sentence to express obligation, ability, possibility, or permission. By the way, I've already created videos about will versus would, should versus must, can and could for talking about ability, and should've, could've, and would've. I'm going to put their links in the description section and in the comment section. Now let's talk about may and might. One of the most common usage of may and might is for talking about probability or possibility. May plus the main verb or might plus the main verb. Yung mga structures na yan ay ginagamit natin when we are talking about present and future possibility or probability. So again, when we are not sure about something in the present or in the future, we say may plus the main verb or might plus the main verb. For example, she looks upset. It may be because of her bad test results. Or, she looks upset. It might be because of her bad test results. Sa sentences na yan, ang ginamit natin ay may at saka yung main verb na be o kaya might and yung main verb na be. So, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo 100% sure na ang dahilan ng kanyang pagiging upset or kaya mukha siyang upset ay dahil sa bad test results niya. Okay? So, we're not sure about it. Nanghuhula lang tayo. In these sentences, we're talking about the present, her present state, or the present reason why she looks upset. Another example, we may arrive on time or we might arrive on time. Sa sentences na to, ginamit natin yung may and yung main verb na arrive at saka might and of course yung main verb na arrive. Ginagamit or pinag-usapan natin yung future. Okay? There is a possibility for us to arrive on time. Pero hindi siya 100% sure. Posibleng mangyari but we are not 100% sure. Of course, yung negative forms ng may at might ay may not or simply mayn't or might not, or simply mightn't. I don't always say mayn't or mightn't. I often say may not or might not as their negative forms. But of course, there is nothing wrong if you say mayn't or mightn't. They may not attend your birthday party next week. Or they mayn't attend your birthday party next week. They might not attend your birthday party next week. Or they mightn't attend your birthday party next week. These sentences mean that there is a chance that we won't attend your birthday party next week. Again, we are not 100% sure, pero may posibilidad na hindi kami makakapunta sa birthday party mo. Now, what's the difference between may and might when we talk about possibility? Kung pareho lang natin silang pwedeng gamitin para sabihin na ang isang bagay ay posibleng mangyari o posibleng totoo, anong pagkakaiba nila? May shows higher or stronger possibility than might. Okay? Kapag ginamit natin yung may sa ating sentence, ibig sabihin, um, we want to say that something or there's a higher or greater chance for something to be true or for something to happen. Malamang, okay? Or malamang sa oo. I don't know if you use that expression in Filipino, but I use it. Malamang sa oo, pupunta kami sa birthday party mo next week. We may go to your birthday party next week. Another example, Waldo isn't in class today. He may be sick. I saw him sneezing all day yesterday. So, malamang sa oo, may sakit si Waldo, kaya wala siya sa klase today. Kasi nakita ko siya kahapon na bumabahing buong araw. So, I want to express or I want to say that there is a higher possibility na may sakit si Waldo, kaya wala siya sa klase today. So, he may be sick. That's why he is not in class today. 
might shows lower possibility. So it indicates that the possibility for something to happen or for something to be sure is less okay, compared to may. So we say, well, Do is not in class today. He might be sick. We're not sure. O baka. Okay? Baka may sakit siya, kaya wala siya sa klase today. In modern English, especially native speakers of English, tend to switch these two or use these two modal verbs interchangeably to mean the same thing. Kanina sinabi ko na we can use may or might plus the main verb in your sentence to talk about present or future possibility or probability. Ngayon, paano naman kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung nakaraan, yung past? Now, ito yung structure or forms na pwede nating sundan. May or might plus have plus the past participle form of your verb. For example, where's my cupcake? Dea may have eaten it. I saw her holding it in the kitchen. Or, Dea might have eaten it. I saw her eating something in the kitchen. So, sa mga sentences na ito, hindi tayo sigurado. Okay? Hindi tayo 100% sure that it was really Daylin who ate the cupcake. Pero may posibilidad, okay, malamang o baka si Daylin yung kumain ng cupcake. Well, we are unsure if she really did it. Okay, so sa mga sentences na yan, ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung nakaraan. We're talking about the past or past probability or possibility. Ang ginamit natin ay may have or might have and yung past participle form ng ating main verb ay eaten. Okay, eaten yung past participle form ng eat. May and might can also be used when we ask for permission or when we make requests. May I see your identification card? Or might I see your identification card? Pwede natin gamitin yung may at might when we ask for permission or when we make requests in English. But might is old-fashioned, okay? It's very formal and less commonly used nowadays. In modern English, ang ginagamit natin ay may, okay? When we make formal requests, or when we formally ask for permission, we use may. Yung may nga ay ginagamit when we formally ask for permission in English. Yung can naman ay more commonly used in casual conversations, okay? Kapag ang kausap mo ay kaibigan mo lang, it's, it's just in a casual conversation or it's just in a casual setting, you can use can if you ask for permission. Pero kapag ang kausap mo ay iyong boss or teacher or if it's uh, in a formal setting, then I suggest that you use may when you ask for permission. Kung natatandaan niyo nung nasa elementary pa lang tayo, um, our teachers would usually recommend to use may instead of can when we ask for permission. Sabi nila, instead of saying, ma'am, can I go out? It should be, ma'am, may I go out? Kasi nga, in that situation, humihingi tayo ng permiso sa ating teacher okay, na lumabas, usually to go to the comfort room or to go to the bathroom para jumingal. <laughs> now, when we formally give permission in English, we use may. Okay? Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung might. You may leave now. You don't say, you might leave now. You may enter the room. Not, you might enter the room. So, yan na, kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung pagbibigay ng permiso sa isang tao, in English, we use may. May can also be used when expressing wishes. That's why we say, may you have more birthdays to come. Or, may God bless you more. Actually, medyo naloka ako dyan because one time I posted something on my Facebook page. I was thanking those people who had given me stars on my Facebook page. So, nagpapasalamat ako dun sa aking post. Nagpasalamat ako dun sa mga tao. And sa last part ng post ko, I said, May God bless you more. Ngayon, may nag-comment. Ang sabi niya, Sino ka para payagan o para bigyan ng permiso ang Diyos na bigyan pa ng blessing yung mga taong yan? Ang pagkakaintindi niya dun sa paggamit ng May ay para lang sa pagbibigay ng permiso. But actually, yun nga, yung may ay pwede rin natin gamitin when we want to express wishes. That's why we say, may God bless you more. 
May can also be used when we make suggestions in English. Actually, pwede rin natin gamitin yung might. For example, you may want to try our new product. Or, you might want to try our new product. Ang structure I may want to, and then a verb. Or, might want to, plus a verb. Pwede rin, you may prefer to try our new product. Or, you might prefer to try our new product. You might, or rather, you may or might prefer to do something. You may want to watch more of my videos. Or, you might want to watch more of my videos. I hope you learned something today. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.